All right, man, the journey begins, huh? Now you sit in a room, all right, that's a top 10 program with a great opportunity. The media, who's loving you right now, it's the same people that will step all over us. So all the attaboys and the talk and the preseason hype, that stuff's not relevant now. I don't know about you, but I got a chip on both shoulders right now. You know, with what happened to us that were on the team last year at the end of the season, man, that was worse than a loss. The only way to get rid of it is to go win a game. <laughs> I can't wait to get on the grass. It's gonna be about what we do now. We put pressure on ourselves every day. If you didn't like that, you wouldn't be in this business. Dealing with the pressure of national hype is just gonna put fuel to the fire. Hey. Man, I feel like I haven't hit anything in too long. I got high expectations for this football team. ACC championship expectations. The only team on our schedule that can beat us is ourselves. Leaving a legacy is a big deal. We talk about the dash. You're born in what year? Gonna pass away in what year? And the dash in the middle is the legacy you live. It's the obituary someone's gonna write about you someday. Having the opportunity in a four or five year window as a player to do something that nobody's done is a big part of that. Kelly for Christmas. We live. Hey, tell my mama, tell my mama I'll be home for New Year's. NC State UCLA, primetime game. NC State with a ton to play for. Chance for Devin Leary to kind of stake his claim for next year. NC State had a chance to do something that only two NC State football programs in 116 years of football to win double digits. But listen, we're here at the stadium. Grant Gibson here, tuned in, man. It's going to be a fun game tomorrow. It's showtime. It's really showtime. We're about to cut up tomorrow. Go get that 10th win. And so that game uh, had a lot riding on it for our football team and our staff, and, and it was going to be a meaningful day. This is what it's all about. It ended up being, um, you know, a different type of day. Woo, welcome to San Diego. It was a normal game day. Got up, had our morning walkthroughs. Our athletic director called and just said, hey, we're trying to get out of this game. Uh, sounds like COVID, but trying to get more details. Five minutes later, grabbed my cell phone and it was on Twitter that the game was canceled. That's how I found out. There's no way this could be true. I literally uh, cracked open my window and screamed out of it because that's how upset I was. The game's been canceled. And we, we were like, nah, this is fake, this is fake. And then sure enough, we got a text from Coach Doran about two minutes later saying we're at a team meeting downstairs right now. Uh, just gonna kind of talk for the, from the heart for a second. Um, So this sucks. You know, there's no way around it. Um, feel horrible for you guys. It was definitely anger in the room. It was definitely, you know, misunderstanding and trying to figure out why this was happening. You guys did everything you were supposed to do. Everything. And you were to kick their ass yesterday. I mean, we had a press conference the day before at 3.30, and uh, their coach was point blank asked, does your team have any issues? Are you concerned at all? And he made it seem like they were in great shape. He said, we only need 11 players to play the game, was his comment. And it would have been great to have a heads up of any kind. And uh, no, we had no communication whatsoever. Our team's done everything right. The guys have last year played every game we could play this year, every game we could play. We were prepared to play this game. Our opponent wasn't, apparently. We had the ACC working as well. We had the bowl people working as well, and uh, we cannot find another game, right? I wish we could. We exhausted every possibility, you know, say it however you want to. Y'all deserve better, point blank. It let us know that, you know, don't take no game for granted. Don't take no game day, no practice reps, none of that for granted, because, you know, our season ended in just a snap of a finger. 
It's a weird feeling as a coach. It probably would have felt better to lose the game than not play it. it didn't have the class to tell us that problem. That unfinished feeling is what drives the players as well. I mean, it motivated us tremendously. That was one of the reasons I came back to NC State. It just all felt just undone. It was just a not finished feeling, and I feel like the whole team, the coaches, just everybody around the facility felt that way. It's up next year, 2022. We coming for it all. We all had that talk. So do I leap or do I stay? But we all knew that we had the chance to do something great here. When I sat back and thought about it, I was like, I don't want to be somewhere else knowing that I could have done something great at NC State. We've been through a lot with this group of young men and the staff, and we are on a journey. And it's the same guys we're still with for the most part. We got all the pieces to make it happen. We got a lot of, a lot of uh, experience here. A lot of guys came back, and we came back all for the same reason. People know their jobs, they know their assignments. It's easy to move fast and do what you need to do and get it done. There's just more left for these guys. There's, there's meat on the bone and everybody wants that sense of accomplishment and finish. Good luck today, man. Go get them. Okay, one thing. Have fun. Thank you for everything you've done. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. I truly mean that. I appreciate it. I would not be where I am. <laughs> that I means a lot to me, man. No, you know I, I love you, idea. dude. Thank you so much. You bet. Yes, Thanks for saying that, man. Yes, okay, I know y'all been waiting. Just going to get started. I'm Dave Dorn, the head football coach here at North Carolina State. I just want to welcome everybody to our pro day. Uh, 14 young men have, have gone through their journey, and they're here to do everything they can to show you guys what they're made of. We take great pride in recruiting the right type of person. And I think, as you can see from the track record we have with the players that have left here and moved on to the NFL, they make it and they stick. Is your QB going to be a senior? He's a redshirt junior. Is he going to throw today? For he is. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't know where Devin is. I got you. I'm about to take a bite of this brownie and get active. We about to look good out here. Y'all good for post corner? Huh? Post corner? Post corner. Or hitch and go. Is that it? Ten yard out. Hit. Mm. You good? Nah, you straight. You straight. We ended on a good note. That's all that matters. Three twenty-eight. Three two eight. He's not doing anything today, I think, except for the bench. Oh, okay. Because he did everything at the combine. No ego. Yeah. Humble. Great locker room guy. Very smart. Probably the best finisher I've ever coached. Understand that he left a big hole. We're gonna miss Icky and all the great things that he did for us, and he taught us all a lot. Twenty-two NFL draft is now open. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I've never seen somebody play as angry as he played. This is a guy that worked hard each day, and you know he came in and he watched film and. I mean, like, he literally played the game the right way. And we're just all proud of him, of what he's going to do, because we know that he's going to go and do great things. Oh, no, man. With the sixth pick in the 2022 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select the Ken... Yeah! Ah, uh, all right. 
let's get to it. I went into kind of a, a little spell, that whole kind of between combine and draft prep, watching my, my teammates go through it. I was definitely in my feelings a little bit about it, man. Hey, hurts. Thinking about what could have been and dwelling on that, which wasn't my time yet. Some people call it a bad leg. We try to speak positively in here, so never say bad leg, I always say surgery leg. They tell you that rehab never goes how you think it's gonna go. And he stopped after a short gain, and there's an injured NC State player down at the 15-yard line. It's Isaiah Moore, who's the heartbeat of that defense. Whatever situation you got going on in life, if you bring a positive attitude towards it, you have the power to change it. I couldn't control what happened to me against Miami, but I can control my reaction going forward. All right. Go get it. Go get it. Come on, go get it. I never wanted to ask you know, somebody to do something that I wouldn't do myself, especially in the rehab room. There you go. Almost it. We've all literally shed tears together in that room, man. CJ Clark, y'all, number five. Me and him basically had the same, the same injury. Been rehabbing together every day. It's my guy. Me and CJ are gonna knock out these retro walks. We call them down the halls. Just having somebody that's there for you and having somebody that you can lean on in that room, I think is important. Isaiah Moore coming back from injury is gonna boost our team. And you could see how much he wanted to be out there with us. But always on us. We bring the juice to the defense. We bring it. Fly around. Make plays. Be on those field with, with my guys and me able to go to war with them each and every day. I can't wait. I got high expectations for this football team. Coach Doran has a coaching staff that are returning, has a lot of players that are returning. I think they're primed to be ACC champions this year. That's the expectations. We had so many guys that came back from last year that had the chance to leave, but we all came back because we have one goal, and that's to win every game. It's a very experienced football team. You know, it's the oldest group of guys I've had the privilege of coaching. There's high expectations, and there's guys that have, you know, a lot to prove. As a family, we come down here every year during the 4th of July. Usually every morning we come out here after breakfast and uh, get a good workout in, but we were fortunate enough to have Devin here too. Two by two, Yeah. two by two chains. Uh, I was more so thinking like uh, option. Okay. He's pushing out, you just wrap okay, him. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, there you go. Right now, every rep matters. Um, so once we get into August, like we're clicking on all cylinders. Good grab. Uh, we're very fortunate to be able to have each other, to be able to work off of each other like that. It's like, you know, simple work that is uh, necessary for us to get ready to be able to step on the field and play at the best of our ability come fall. Hey. No, don't do that. Hey. You were tackled. I mean, maybe. Maybe? I wrapped you around your stomach. They push each other to exceed the limits each and every day. And I mean, whether someone's having a better day than the other, they've raised the standard for each other and they raised the bar. And you know, being able to myself be a part of that, it's awesome to see the way that they compete with each other every day. Corner going down, uh, flood corner coming back. There it is. Good grab. You see how that timed up better? Yeah. We got this Monday off. We started our official summer two workouts this past week. So our coaches gave us a little three day weekend break. Get a little bit of work in each and every morning. Uh, make sure we're staying in shape, keeping up our sweat equity. Uh, but at the same time, just being able to kick our feet back, kind of hang out at the beach.
once the season starts, there's no time for stuff like this. You know, every single week you're traveling, you're practicing, you're playing. So just having this downtime just right before uh, camp starts, it means a lot. They're always trying to one-up each other. If it's something that we're doing on the beach that's competitive, it stays the same. I don't think that changes, really, no matter where we are. They look forward to the relaxation, but I think that competitiveness never really leaves. It's so hot. What is it? Is that two or three? One. Two, zero. Oh. Yes. Yes. Gotta be kidding me. There's a hole. You just need one. There it is. <laughs> Beautiful day, man. I think it's really important to unplug regardless of what you do. There's nothing better than just the silence of, of hearing nature. It's always just kind of been a place where my mind goes uh, away from all the other things and I can focus and you know have that quiet and peace. Pretty calm out here today. My grandpa had a lake house in uh, Kansas City, a place called Lake Levera. And that's where I would go as a kid in the summers to hang out with him and my uncles. And for me, it's always family time, music, fishing when I can. That's about it. You see him in there? Get angry and not catch fish. At least we're happy. <laughs> That's for TV right there. Smallest fish in the lake country. We're gonna move. We got a couple more spots top water. A little further down. That's fish. Good bass right here, boys. Finally. Let's go. <laughs> right off that little rope. Oh, right here. Pr proof that we can fish, and there are fish in the lake. <laughs> Nice. Johnny G. <laughs> All right, now I can enjoy myself. That was, that was more nerve wracking than fourth and inch. <laughs> this year, we have a lot of expectations. We're making a name for ourselves, so I think every day we just come in, execute, take one day at a time, and everything will fall in place. In five months, the season will be done. We're about to start this journey, this roller coaster ride, and we control it. This team has all the things that it needs. All the ingredients are right here, okay? This training camp is about just making sure those things get mixed the right way. And every single rep is gonna matter. Boy, do I wanna win, man. And I know you do too. You don't like your role, where you're at, play better. Play better. Let's go make more plays, man. Keep grinding. You don't think good things are coming our way, boys? Huh? No, no, great things are coming our way. We back, man. Woo, we back, man. Feels so good to be back. We'll be no one other than myself today. Don't put on any front for the camera. Remember your first college practice? You think these boys are ready for it? <laughs> Ask them afterwards. Yes, sir! Hey, listen, man, let's have some fun today. Enjoy it. Be extra, extra crispy, quadruped in it. I know how emotional it'll be today for you, man. Just, it's a process. Happy for you. It's great to see so many of you guys that were hurt back on the field, boys. 
Some of you crying coming out onto the field. I love you half for the sport. It just makes my heart feel good having you guys back out here. Doesn't that feel good, boys? Yes, hey, y'all boys flying around today? Y'all boys do what we do, man. Let's be the best secondary in the nation. About to get in the offense. Sugar honey iced tea. One's up! One's up! Let's go! Hey, here we go, here we go. Hey, here it comes, here it comes! Ah. I should have caught that, bro. Bro, I should have had a pick. Good break on the ball right there. Oh. Yes, sir! Good pick, good pick, good pick. What, how many do you need? Good competition. How many do you need? But I want you to throw four. But hey, I'm done talking, I'm done talking, I'm done talking. I'm done talking. All right, let's do it better this time. Hey, we're going to get those back. I'm not worried about it. They were a little hype in the beginning, that's fine. Wait till we score touchdowns. They're going to be quiet. Fourth quarter now, finish! Here we go, here we go. One's up, let's go, finish! We're about to turn up. Full speed, finish the day. Finish the day, let's go. Good ball, Devin. There you go, good. I like it. Hey, full speed, full speed, full speed. Dang. Move, move, move! Here we go. Good grab! Good spot, Dev. Let's keep it up, let's keep it up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Good throw right there, Dev. Good job, boys. That was the last rack. Boo. Boo. It's a good set, man. Yeah, had, bounce back. had to respond. Each night, one of our players will come up and talk a little bit about their journey and how it applies to the games that we have. What up? Uh, for y'all in the back that don't know me, I'm Tanner Ingle. Uh, I'm, this is my, what, fifth year here? But uh, I just wanted to talk to y'all about some of the stuff I've been through here and some of the stuff I've learned. My freshman year, I came in, and honestly, I came in with a really good start. I played in like the first seven games, but as the football was going good, I kind of let go of everything else. I kind of put my all into that football, so I let go of everything else I had. So school started dropping, my finances started falling apart, everything. So like, I got very complacent. I took this situation I had for granted. Coach Dorn said it all the time, like, Make sure every other part of your life is good and that football gonna be good. I don't know, man, like, I wish I came in and I worked hard. I wish I came in and I did everything right. Like, real deal, listen, bro. This go by fast and you don't get, you don't get time back, bro. You don't really get that time back. Josh, I love you. Hey, Josh. I love you. Y'all boys keep my spirits up, and I love y'all. Like, like y'all my brothers, bro. This a family to me, man. <laughs> and I done figured this shit out, so I got y'all boys this year. Yeah, you too. Thank you for not yes, supporting. I love you too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How long y'all gonna be here? Like the whole camp? Damn. Y'all grinding. Y'all dropping them while y'all here still. While we're shooting, they're at it. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> Again, it goes back to we want to be elite. We want to be the best defense in the country. All those things. We have got to stay locked in. Got to. Tomorrow's got to be better. Okay, and that's all we're worried about. Pretty good day, a lot of turnovers. All right, here we go. We had 11 takeaways today. Greg Thomas, two forced fumbles. Of course. 
Oh, you want? I got Skittles, M&M, and Starburst. Peanut? You want two packs? Jakeen Harris. No recovery. What do you want? Skittles, Skittles, Skittles. Peyton Wilson with a pick. Skittles, please. Skittles, please. About Skittles. Shout out, Dave. JPL would have picked. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 M&M, Snickers, or Skittles? M&M. Give me that. Right there. Let's go. On the field. No, don't do one, two. Oh! Oh! We put pressure on ourselves every day. If you didn't like that, you wouldn't be in this business. Dealing with the pressure of national hype, it's just gonna put fuel to the fire. Hey, man, I feel like I haven't hit anything in too long. I got high expectations for this football team. ACC championship expectations. The only team on our schedule that can beat us is ourselves. I'm trying to see someone get punished. You gotta cut them past today, sick. Let's get a little physical. Let's get a little physical. Get your ass down. Second down, play third, thud tempo. Here we go. Betty. Good play, Betty. Stop playing. Stop playing. Oh, 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 oh. First down, play second. It's too easy, bro. Get off the field. Stop running the ball. On that ass, boy. Good stop, D. Hey, reload. Good stop. One more. Here we go. Last play, last play. Uh oh. My boy Vic on that. Sh boy, stop playing with Vic. Jackson, great play, man. <laughs> oh, it's big time, man. Huh? Everyone's been waiting. For yeah. Yeah. But bring him up. You guys see the difference in practice when we're worried about what we're doing? I mean, it's way different how much better you can get when your focus is on what your job is out here. I got to give the guy love on this play, man. Jackson Vick, that was one hell of a football play, man. Hey, man, you showed a lot of heart. A lot of heart. That's a big back. Normally, a DB would cut a guy right there. You took him high, you got the ball back. Showed a lot of guts, man. A lot of respect on that play. Jackson Vick, come on up in here, man. All right. Come on, break us down, 2-6. Come on, big dog. Family on two, family on two, one, two. Family. I don't think that words can explain how much of a grind it is. You're up here the entire day. You're tired. 7.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. for three weeks long. It's tough. We're here all day, but it's something that we, we do it because we love it and we want to be better in the next team. Hey, how you doing? You understand me? Oh. Standing our championship football team play! The intensity and physicality of fall camp gets real. Guys want to prove themselves to the coaches and to the team that, you know, they can help contribute to us winning games. You go down there and you screw it up, and then that's what happens. So you don't know everything. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Don't lose your intensity. Let's go. If you want to do that, we can do that. You like somebody, get Stop crying. It's not easy. We understand that you got to go through some tough times to get to what you want. 
gonna make that play every time. Right. There's a lot of times where you can get down and distracted, but that's what we got each other for to just pick us back up. That's really where we get the chance to bond. Ah. I tell you, find a friend like Grant Gibson, bro. He'll pick you up when you're down. It don't matter what's going on. To be at that top one percentile of focus, of competitive spirit, bringing your best. It's hard to be that guy every time you go out on the field. I'm about to go out here and get this work. <laughs> we got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? Last workout of the week, man. We're going to attack it hard, man. We're not really worried about too much. Each week, we have a team run, um, and that's like the hardest workout of the week. Last workout of the week, how you feel? Oh, good. Tired. Then we get outside and everybody's trying to figure out what's going on, what's going on, because something just doesn't seem right. Bring it up, bring it up. Hey, now. Bring it up, bring it up. What's that? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. And I was like, I don't see no time or the lights lit on the field. And I was like, okay. But that is We actually might not be doing a run. <laughs> No team run? That's how we do it on a Friday, man. That's how you get down on the Coach Friday. Coach Dorn, he surprised us, and we had like a little field day type type thing with a water slide and water balloons. Oh! Hey, we'll back water park, man. <laughs> we going on Gibby. You ready? Oh, Gibby, oh, here. Here. Oh, 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 oh. Hey! Hey! Help me out. As a college football player, we're so consumed by it every day, and I feel like as a team, we need some of those lighthearted moments to just bring out the best in us. Looks a lot easier than it is, huh? Bad we're not a baseball team. Wow. <laughs> Don't get mad, get even. <laughs> I got mentally prepared today to go out here to get the award. Come out here, the big ass, great ass time. Look around, look at life, man. That was fun. If you want to be the best, you're going to be unique, and there's only one champion. And so we have to try to be that every day we hit that field. Really just gotta go in there with the mindset of, you know, winning your one-on-ones, going as hard as you can. Just attacking. Can't let up at all. It's offense versus the defense during camp. You know, we want to beat each other every single day, and that's what camp is all about. All that intensity that we're going against each other will finally come together onto one sideline. You know, both of our energies combined is really unmatched. Oh yeah, Larry! You thought I was coming, Larry! Oh, oh, yeah. Hell yeah, one, three! Tyler Baker Williams is probably the most underrated kid on our football team. He's very, very skilled. And we try to get him matched up on everybody's best receivers. T. Bates not the loudest guy, very docile. He carries a confidence about himself, that swagger about himself, and it's, it's definitely um, contagious. Right now, we're heading to um, an NC State family's house. We're about to go deliver some gifts to the families and play with the kids. It's gonna be pretty fun. What's up? What's going on? Hi, hey. What's up? How y'all doing? Y'all good? I got something for y'all. A little gift. Y'all want to take a look? Yes. Got a special hat here. Who wants a hat? Me, 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 me. Hold on, that's for her. All right. Ladies 
first, ladies yeah. first. We got some t-shirts, you want to get the flat? Giving yeah, back to the community stuff. is important. Just to let them know how much I care is just a true person. Taking myself off the field, taking my helmet off, letting them see my face, letting them see my personality, letting them understand that I'm just a human too. So this, we got a nice little 13 retro jersey. It's pretty sweet. I already took this one, so. I've actually never worn this before, but it's pretty cool. <laughs> a nice V-neck. That's cool, I like that. You guys want to go play a little bit? Throw the ball around? All right, let's go. Let's go do it. Let's go do it. Seeing myself as a 22-year-old man now, I always want to make my younger self proud. I wish when I was a kid, I would have a star quarterback at a local college being able to come to my neighborhood and play football or give out different gifts just because that's something that I was always want when I was a kid. Oh. Let's bring it in, let's bring it in, let's bring it in. Wolfpack on three, one, two, three, Wolfpack! Good job, good job, good job, good job, go out, go out. Sometimes when you're with a coach or a staff, you can tell that they're, they're guys that can help you. All right, five, eight. Hey, boss. Good, yes sir. Let's go. Oh, what's good, OG? Great day, boy. Yes sir. Hey, hey have a great time. Yes, sir. Do good out there. Yes, sir. The biggest thing is just how rough treats people. Everybody that he meets is his best friend. Hey, there you go. Hey, hey, I like you at Mike, bro. Yes, sir, me too. You feel good at Mike, don't you? Yes, sir, have hey. fun. I mean, they walk in. He just just got a really warm feel uh, away uh, of treating people and respecting people, and I love that about him. He did good. I saw you hitting that go. What? Okay. All right, keep, keep it going. All right. Coached all my life, 43 plus years. All I know is coaching and teaching. Ruffin is uh, such a good friend, and um, it started so long ago, you know, when I was a graduate assistant coach at Southern Cal. We've been opponents at different schools. I've always kept in touch at every school. I was at Oklahoma at the time. It was a challenging time in my career. I had to leave at Oklahoma to come back and take care of my dad and, and b become a son again. And uh, the day I announced it, it became public. The very first phone call I got was from Dave Doran. Not the second, but the very first phone call. My father is also dealing with Alzheimer's his dad and dementia and so you know there's just a lot of correlations there dave knew i was coming home he called and arranged the position just gonna be assistant to him and i couldn't think of a perfect way to keep keep my mind busy is it really? hey boss part of it a lot of stuff around here <laughs> hey, dude. Yeah. watch some lift watch some lift defense and watch offense next I told Jamie. His value cannot be quantitated, you know, for me because of the relationship and the way that he looks after us. Sweat though. Hey. Yes, sir. Hey. I love you. I love you too, coach. I saw you coming there, Dawson. We were put here together for a reason at this time. And I know for a fact it was for more than just football. <laughs> There'd be a lot of beeping going on. Love you, brother. You guys that have been here know what Victory Day is. Something that I really, really, really take pride in helping out with. There's 50 participants. Their families will be here. And this is a way for us to have fun with them, man. Make them feel special. They're the players tonight. They're on our team tonight. Ready? 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 Hit the 
Spurs? You got a chance tonight to do something for these folks that are coming that is life changing. In their whole life, people have been telling them what they can't do, they've labeled them, made them feel less than. Tonight, we're going to make them feel really special. Here's the play. Your favorite number is 29, right? Yeah. We got 29, Mike touchdown on 101. Yep. Ready? Three. All right, Mike, follow me, Mike, follow me, Mike. To be able to go out there and give those kids that memory, give those kids that joy that you see on their faces, you know, it's everything to us. That's probably one of the best nights of fall camp. I mean, it's awesome uh, because they're so excited. It made me feel good to be able to help somebody out and to make their day. And you know, like that's something that we should all strive to do every day is to just make the world better. Coach Jordan does a good job of getting us rest when we need it. That's like one of the first things he addresses is getting your body right. Getting in the cold tub is not the funnest it's part of your morning. The first time you get down in here, it's like, <gasps> it kind of takes your breath away. When I woke up this morning, I started walking, bro. I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like an old man. Bro, I, didn't really, I, couldn't, I couldn't get up. I feel like we've experienced injuries over the last few years that we don't want and don't need, they, they pile up as the year goes on and everything. So just making sure we're coming in here to, you know, FOMO in the training room is really important if we want to make it from the first game to the last game, you know. Got me a little therapy, because I had to bite my towel. Oh! Damn, wow. it's that thing you're talking about. Oh! Wow. <laughs> That's cold, I ain't gonna curse, but that bad cold, boy. Your body is your temple, you feel me? You gotta take care of your body all the time. So how you recover is how you gonna perform. You out there putting so much hard work in, you wanna be able to shake back quick so you can keep me in that same player. I honor the light, the love, truth, beauty, and peace within you because it is also within me. At some point, you have to choose whether your scars are gonna weigh you down or if you're gonna use them as the wings you've been searching for. We don't get to choose what scars we get, but we get to choose how we see them and what we do with them. We are united. We are the same. We are one. When camp starts, but it's really a grind. COVID. Ain't nobody gonna jump in the pool? Uh -huh. Ain't nobody gonna jump in the pool? I'll jump in right now. <laughs> Spending time together outside of football, being able to laugh, talk about things, it helps. Ain't no Chase, I hope you're ready for the season. Yeah. Be wet. To be honest, being away from my from my parents, and I, I hate to say it, but it just I kind of blocked them out for a while. Like, I just talked to my mama today. It's been about probably about a week and a half since I talked to my mom. But like when I first got here, the homesick did hit bad first week. Throwing up, can't eat. Lost about 15 pounds. <laughs> and that hit me, it hit me real bad. But now I'm, I, the older guys, everybody, I just feel like really welcome now. And I can, you know, obviously I can eat now. <laughs> so I, I'm really good now. I don't really miss home like that, not that much. <laughs> Mm. 
They said loud too. Is everybody in Clemson full? Yeah, like get around and vote. Our yeah. coach, the coach's poll. What were we? 13. 13. What were you thinking? Don't matter. Should be a problem. Clubs still think they got the best defense in the, in the, in the country, though. Seven <laughs> No, you know, scrimmages serve a purpose of getting them in the closest thing to a game we can, and so it allows you to see the finish of plays more than anything. Can he finish a catch when he's getting hit? Can he run through people, or is he just going to fall on the ground? It's a performance business, you know, so these guys come in, they all want to be starters, and a scrimmage is a great way to showcase that for a young man, to show us what he's gonna be like on game day. Feel good out here, don't it? Feel great, man. It's a beautiful day to go hard today, man. Good to be back in the stadium playing tackle football, man. It feels like we're in Montana or somewhere, yeah, doesn't it? This awesome. weather. Hey, we know what good football looks like. We know what good offense looks like. We know when we play fast, we know yeah, we are unstoppable. Yeah, yeah. This is what gets you on the bus. All right, we're going to see if you can make plays against the good guys. One play at a time, man. 11 man football, let's go. Hey, Larry, was you throwing the hitch on there or was you throwing the go? No, I was throwing the go back. Big, oh, all right, I was going to make sure. Are we just that elite or can they not block? Hey, let's go, man. You can't f with us, man. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Get oh, yeah. yeah. you a hat. Boy, hey. Hey, he got down quick. Quiet right now. I'm going to wake up though a little bit. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Let's go, man. Hey, hey. So one time I hit him, yeah, right? Go, 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 Great block. Good ball. DT, touchdown. There we go, go right, go right, go right. There you go, dude. That's a good ball, though. Well, good job, Larry. Good job, guys. Good job. This is a really important film for you guys, man. We hit every situation we can hit, okay? We'll get one more shot at this stuff live, and that's it. And then it's games. Hey, man, good today, man. Let's just keep grinding. Family on two. One, two. What's good? What's good? Hey, get the game on me. Listen, it's my birthday. So I'm going to let you know, if I get a book, I am kidding. Point, I'm pointing at you, and I'm booting the ball, all right? Remember I said that. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> the selection process takes place the minute they are born, literally. Come on. Come on, buddy. The whole litter was trying out for the team. Good boy. We evaluated them every week till the age of seven weeks old. And that is when Tuffy 3 was selected. Tuffy's typical training day, a lot of 40-yard dashes, a lot of leg work. Come on. Come on. And 
intensity, focus. That's it. Stay. This offseason, Tuffy has been working on his quick twitch paws and his footwork. Everyone knows the players are in camp, but Tuffy is in camp as well. We put pressure on ourselves every day. If you didn't like that, you wouldn't be in this business. Dealing with the pressure of national hype, it's just gonna put fuel to the fire. Man, I feel like I haven't hit anything in too long. I got high expectations for this football team. ACC championship expectations. The only team on our schedule that can beat us is ourselves. Get it, man. Work day, baby. Work day, Reek. You're my roommate, Reeky, there, man. That's my dog right there, roommates. We go to war every day, man. The sport is, is about results. And if you're not given uh, a lot of time uh, as an athlete to reach your goals as a coach to get it done. We're getting there, we're getting there. Two more practices of fall camp, and we're good. The season's starting up. I want these guys to have urgency. I don't want to wait to be great. Let's go! Why are you walking? We don't really have any time to waste. It has to be right now. Yo, hustle up. Sense of urgency, sense of urgency. You can't do anything without, like, going out there full speed, full go. Ah, hey, you stop a little too early. Hey, run until you can't run, you right? Go, push it. It's about getting results. It's about winning games. You know, it's about getting better. Good, good. Quick feet, quick hands, eyes up. Don't get bored with the little thing. Hey, it's little, little things now, all right? Think about the procedure. Ball security! Trim the fat. There it is. That's a really good rep, man. We need to have that collaborative energy and that collaborative, you know, attention to detail onto the field and holding each other accountable. Are we the bad guys that we call you we're out? Real okay that, bro. After the talks we've been having, bro. Come on, bro. You know, the season is getting ready to go. We got to buckle down together, and it's time to get rolling. You got to practice every day like tomorrow's game day. You can't take it for granted. because You don't know what's going to happen. You know, I can speak from experience. You don't know whether you're going to get another rep in another game. So you got to take advantage of every moment you get. We need to get it done now. We know that everybody has their eye on us. And we just want to make sure that every time we step on the field that we get the job done like now. So there's a lot of offensive parts that we're replacing. The good news is, is we've got experienced players behind those guys that are now ready for their opportunity. And I think the fact that they're not being talked about is probably put a big chip on their shoulder. Yeah, Jordan Houston's a dog. I mean, he's very eager, very hungry, and you know, I can't wait to see what he does this year. I would say I'm very versatile. Um, I can motion out to receiver, run routes. I run the ball very violently, actually. Good run, Jordan. That's a way to run the rock, three. That a baby. That's how you run, man. Obviously, with what we lost at receiver, we've really been looking at that position hard. Keon Lesane has had a great training camp. Got stack good days on good days. Get where we want to be, especially for me. With us losing to Mecca Menzi, the wide receiver we had last year, all the catches he had. We're going to need somebody to make those catches. I feel like that's me. You know, I just feel like I'm ready, I'm in shape, I'm healthy. I feel like those catches will be made. Keon Lassane is a dog. I mean, he is an absolute dog. And you know, same thing, similar to Jordan Houston. He's been waiting his turn, but I mean, he's just got that inner confidence. I did it every day, I swear to God, I did it every day. Anytime he's on the field, whether he's catching a bubble, catching a go route, you know, he's gonna make a play.
Yeah, it is. It's very personal. Every day, man. It's very personal. Every day, every when, day you, for me. Yeah, when you forget that, you're going to be a bad player. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, we got to go three and out, bro. Here we go. Big hit, big hit, big hit, big hit. I'm just saying now, if you want to do that, we can do that. Do what? what you want to do that? What are you talking about? Right, what are you talking about? Play football. That was what are you talking? <laughs> crying for what? Block somebody, get it, stop crying. Hey man, I still love you. Nah, listen. I still love you. That's why I was hot. Red, I know you was hot. I know you was hot. But look, look, you had leverage on me. I, I had no choice. Oh, come on now. You didn't know how to come and spear my ass. You came and spear my ass. I know, you hot. Huh? I got you at the element today. No, you didn't. I got you at the element today. How you get me out of my element? You, you got emotional. So because I said a few words back, that means that I went internal. Grant and I room together, right? So we get home. We always talk about practice. And I and if he got me, he's gonna let me know. And if I got him, I'm gonna let him know. We're trying to, you know, make each other better any way we can. Um, so we push each other to be great. And then yeah, at home, you know, if you're gonna hear about it. Yeah, yeah. Look, this is my baby, man. Sequoia. It's called the bus. It gets me from point A to point B. Shout out to the bus, man. Yeah, you like that, huh? You like the V8? Yeah, the V8 on there. More like a V4. It's a V8. Don't disrespect. Starting no. route to Howling County. I ain't gonna lie. I'm looking forward to this ice cream. Mmm, the sprinkles. But ice cream, though, that's that's one of my weaknesses, man. Especially at Howling Cow. Stay in the right I'm, I'm not gonna embarrass you like that on national TV and call you a cow. I think I can take it. Appreciate you. Ugh. Mr. Moore, appreciate you. You guys have sprinkles? We have four kinds of sprinkles. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> I'm gonna do the red sprinkles, the red, the yeah. NC State sprinkles. I do the Campfire Delight. That's what, that's what like the graham crackers and stuff, right? Yeah, it's like the small one. Yeah, yeah, let me do that one. So you want the hot fudge as well? Absolutely, yes ma'am. Oh, that's me right there. Mm -hmm. Look at them sprinkles. This is, campfire. this is gonna be me and Zay when we're uh, 80. <laughs> Sitting outside eating, just rocking. Yeah. Just rocking like this. <laughs> So Zay, like, what happened during practice? You were mad at me <laughs> for no reason. So I'm running right, and then I'm, and then I think that Zay like throws me down into the dirt, and I got up. I was hot, and then I go watch the film, and it finds out that I just like I just tripped over somebody else's foot. So I was really mad for no reason. You were crying on the field, so uh, I was like, Grant. I think you were crying too, just crying. a little bit. You were mad. For no, <laughs> you were mad for no reason. Bottom line. So. That's not the first time that that's happened between me and you, because there's been times where, where, where you've been mad for no reason, too. Uh, if we're being I, honest. I, I doubt that. I can't remember one. We're brothers, man. Brothers fight. We're two competitors. Heat of the moment thing. Mm -hmm. We're all good. Mm -hmm. I think that we bumped heads, but it's never been something where I'm like, oh, I hate Zay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and at the end of the day, we're kind of like, listen, we can find the same ground, you know? But it's been fun though living with Zay, man. It's been, we've had some fun moments for sure. I mean, it's stuff like this that I'll miss next year. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's 10 feet away from me now, like, but next year we could be like on opposite ends of the nation, you know? So like, it's other things like that, like just trying to enjoy these last moments. In five months, this team won't be the same, you know what I'm saying? Like this team won't ever be the same team ever again. Like Zay's been my, my roommate for the past five years. That's my dog, man, you know what I'm saying? Like you always want friends that'll make you do better. And that's what I found in Zay, you know what I'm saying? We help one another. Yeah, I think just understanding that it's our last, you know, and just appreciating all the little things that go into it, like the waking up every day, like every like every day is like a new last, new last for us. Like you gotta appreciate every second of it. We've had some fun moments for sure. One of our main goals is hard, tough together. We're going to play hard. We're going to play tough. And we're all here for each other. Good job, Josiah. Good get off. Man, good job getting low, DC. I feel like Coach Doran's words and his momentum really carries out throughout the team. Seriously, that was a badass day he had, other than the drop pick. Yep. Yeah, he's got to finish it. Yeah. These are the plays that change us right there as a team, you know? We've got to finish those. 
the side that people really don't see is really him like uh, laughing and playing around. Uh, it, it's really funny just seeing Coach, uh, just seeing the smile on Coach's face. <laughs> you got small hands, huh? Got to be an actor back here. Uh, Academy Award. Just love to see the personality of your head coach rather than just one that is all about X's and O's all the time. What is it today? What's the one more? He means what he says and he genuinely has the team's best interest at his heart. He cares about us and he, you know, he wants to know how we're doing. He wants to make sure we're good. And it's good to know that the head guy feels that way. Orange aid. This smells so good. No fat, no sugar, no calories. What does it taste like? Air. <laughs> Three, two, and coffee employ adults that for most of their lives have been told what they can't do and serve coffee. I would love a black coffee, please. I'm going to have an Americano. Thank you, Elliot. Okay, thank you. Want a lid, honey? Um, I don't need a lid. I'm good. All right, man. All right. Don't spill it. It's hot, Sam. OK. All right. Well, you guys have a fantastic Sunday. Thank you. All right. So I'll see you soon. Yeah. It's nice meeting you, Cameron. All right, Sam. Love you, buddy. Have a great day. Adios. Bye, guys. Bye. Good to see you, hon. Y'all off to the next stop? Yeah. I it's called to work. work. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. <laughs> get ready, yeah. right. It's coming down. <laughs> it's starting to rain a little bit now. It's starting to pour a little bit. Yeah, feel a little cozy. Football! Football! <laughs> Okay, all kinds of things happened today. So we had the rain, <laughs> so what? I wouldn't know it. That's right. We don't get to pick the weather conditions, do we? Nope. First game, guys, we're playing on grass. Could be hot, could be rainy. Who knows? So it's a great opportunity to get out here and have a change of environment. All right? Bring it up in here tight. Let's go. Family on two, one, two! Family. Every game, like y'all see me, she waving, blowing kisses and everything. I'm up there smiling. I'm up there waving, talking to her. It was, I think, around 2019 when parents took me. I kind of laid it on me, told her that she had cancer. Yeah, so uh, this past July, I, I got that call from my pops. He talking about, y'all need you come home. Like straight up, like, that's all he said, come home. I'm like, all right, bet. I walk in the house, I go in the bedroom, I just see the covers over my, like, covers over the head. And I'm just, I'm told, like, I dropped. I fell, for real. And it hurt me, because I ain't never seen something like my strongest person, my strongest woman in my life really be laid laid down like that for real, really looked look, look that weak to me, and I was like, it hurt me. I don't know what it did, something to me, it changed something to me, it changed the way I talk to people, it changed the way, it changed the relationships I got with y'all, man, it just changed everything for me. Cause she was, nah, man, forget it, man, I ain't even trying to. I just felt like it was my moment, it was my time to really go up there and just be vulnerable, open myself up to the team, open myself up to the guys that I love and I call my brothers. And when that happened, man, it was y'all boys. 
Y'all boys that was really the ones that really held me up, man, because I, I was toe up, bro. Like, I was toe up. And it's just, I don't, I don't, I don't know yet, but hold up. Look, I really feel like the relationships that I got with y'all boys really the ones that keep me going for real, really ones that keep me motivated for real. You feel for him in that, you know, and when somebody needs us, there's lots of people rallying around those guys and, and that's evidence, you know, in, in Tyler's moment of loss. Hearing him talk about his mom, oh man, it was, uh, it was very powerful. All of us reached out to him, um, wanted to be there for him to be the best way we can. So the man, whatever you need, man. You can lean on us, you know, we got you. This is a powerful moment for me, and I just felt the respect back and the love back that I felt back from her. My mom used to always tell me, like, you don't gotta be heard in every room you walk in, but let them remember you by what you did and the work that you put in to get where you are. That's all she used to say to me, man. Just get out what you put in, put that work in, the results gonna show. I promise you, I'm gonna go hard Is it for y'all. Mama, I got a whole new motivation, man. Like, it's just, it's different. And I love y'all boys, and I appreciate y'all boys for real. Thank you for that. Yeah. Speaking things into existence is real. Oh, I mean, that's just how I look at life. It's my job, you know, in this role to point out good things and because I'm going to criticize a lot as a coach. And, and so whenever I can be constructive in a positive way and I can show them kind of the road in a different way, the path and, and what's in front of us and that there are things helping us along the way, I'm going to do that. And I've been saying that good things are coming and just, you know, walking out of my office one day after a really big rainstorm, we have a great wolf statue with the waterfall right out in front of the Murphy Center and, and right at the peak of it was a beautiful rainbow. That was right after a, a, a night we had a camp here, our alpha wolf camp. So I took that photo. And then we had victory night. Our team took a photo at the end of it out on the 50 yard line. Um, put the scoreboard behind it and had fireworks going off. And my wife was standing in the end zone. Sarah took a picture and right above the scoreboard was a, a cloud and, and it, it looked exactly like the wolf that we have on the top statue. Anytime we can see those things kind of transpiring, those are, to me, good signs of what's coming. See what we got going today. There we go. There we go, right there. Morning, bro. It's morning, morning. You don't go into fall camp and go, man, we're gonna go six and six, you know? Like, you go into camp, hey, let's, how good can we be? Man, let's get it, man. Yeah, I'm out here. Let's get it, man. Be in mind, man. Right now, clear. There ain't nothing else going on out here. What can we do to win games? What are the components going to be? What are the weaknesses, the strengths? How do we, you know, build around those things? Even on days like this, that's why I come out here. I, I feel like game day to me, man. For real, for real. Cool, bro, man. Yeah. Good to see you now. Good to see you. Oh, yeah, you too, but good to see you. On your sidelines, guys. On your sidelines. Let's get started. It's touchdown. I see it's touchdown. Get on. Get on. Touchdown. Hey, one play at a time. One play at a time. Key, you gotta go. Stop playing, man. Stop playing. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Call him not playing. I told him. What I tell you, bro? It's my told you that. Good job, Olan. Way to protect. Way to protect. 
<laughs> Let's go and bounce back. Hey, that should be a little something for y'all, boy. To make y'all mad, bro. Oh, wake up. Good. We good. You don't get no more, bro. Zero. This year we have fewer question marks, especially on defense with all the starters back. Nice tackle. Hold up. It's under my teeth? When you grind it, you get turf in your mouth. I've just been anxious and urgent to get back on the field. Like I need to be back out there. And I need to get out there with my teammates and, you know, not only prove, you know, prove to them, you know, that I'm, I'm still the player I was, but also prove it to myself. Good tackle. There's guys that have, you know, a lot to prove. Uh, guys that want to finish their careers, winning a championship here at NC State that have put us in a place where that's real. Hey, right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Keep dominating, you understand? Hey, Keep dominating. Away, First play, flute. Here we go, here we go. Ready. Rewrite it. Get back. Out of work! Ball! Yeah! Oh! Over the ball! They scored first play. Ain't scored since. Bro, forget them. Give this ball, because I've been out there talking. I've been out there popping. Jay Scott. Trent, you got to get that weight up, dog. That's the first down, though. Hey, don't look at the first down. Yo, I would have got sent backwards. Larry, scared. Larry, you scared, boy. Hey. Key on you too. As soon as you get out the break, ball is gonna be there. Throw it! <laughs> huh? I know. I love that play though. That was big time. Huh? You had a hell of a day. Oh, fall camp. Check mark, fall camp, check mark. As camp winds down, it's evidence of the unity we have on our roster. You are fine. You are a true freshman who has to control the entire offense. Love isn't just a word, love is an action. Love you, bro. Love y'all, boys. Love you, bro. Love you. Love y'all. Go, Pat and Nathan. Allowing them into your life that way shows that there's a comfort that you have with them, there's a closeness that you have with them. We're not a team that's scared to play anybody. We go out there and play our brand of football, and we believe we can win with that. We've been through it all together, man. We've been here a long time. We've been getting passed on the back for winning nine games a long time, bro. It ain't good enough no more. 10 wins, I want 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go get it. We all came here to leave a legacy and win a championship. Let's do it, man. There's a difference between guys that think they can and guys that believe they can, and this is a group that believes they can win this. We're so locked in, like it's, it's something I've never seen before. We only have one thing to accomplish next. Get our 10th win, make history, win the ACC, and be in a competition for the playoffs. NC State's the team on the roster that we have to focus on. It, it's, it's all about us. And when you have an experienced team like we have, they believe they can beat everybody on our schedule. They believe in each other. They believe in the system, the culture, the staff. And so now it's about execution. I can't believe we didn't do those up downs. Hey, I'm not mad at them though. Nah. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, you now, know, you messed up. Do you need a whooping? Probably, but like, I learned my lesson, you know? Yeah. My worst, the worst part about practice is when it's over. To me. Boy loves the game, I tell you that, boy loves the game. <laughs>